This is Twit. I was put onto some new research from our friends at the Ben Gurion University of the Negev and Fujitsu. Uh, re- research by both groups. Uh, that's by one of the researchers, who's also one of our listeners, uh, Ben Nassi. The title of their 21-page paper is Securing the Perception of Advanced Driving Assistance Systems Against Digital Epileptic Seizures Resulting from Emergency Vehicle Lighting. Okay, now I suppose it's unavoidable to anthropomorphize driving assistance systems, But somehow calling this problem digital epileptic seizures rubs me the wrong way. You know, you know, the overlap in apparently this behavior is the flashing of lights, which, as we know, can trigger human actual epilepsy, you know, epileptic seizures. So they're saying that auto driving systems don't like lights flashing either. Uh, Anyway, I'm not sure what bothers me about it, but something does in any event. It turns out that driving assistance systems do have a problem with the flashing lights used by emergency vehicles. Wired has a nice summary of the very good research this group has just conducted and published under Wired's headline, Emergency Vehicle Lights Can Screw Up a Car's Automated Driving System, with the subhead, Newly published research finds that the flashing lights on police cruisers and ambulances can cause, and here we go, you know, quotes, digital epileptic seizures, unquote, in image-based automated driving systems, potentially risking wrecks. And actually, apparently there have been 16 instances that have been seen so far. Anyway, Wired, we'll, we'll get to that. Wired wrote, car makers say they're increasingly sophisticated Automated driving systems make driving safer and less stressful by leaving some of the hard work of knowing when a crash is about to happen and avoiding it to the machines. But new research suggests some of these systems might do the virtual opposite at the worst possible moment. A new paper from researchers at Ben Gurion University of the Negev and the Japanese technology firm Fujitsu demonstrates that when some camera-based automated driving systems are exposed to the flashing lights of emergency vehicles, they can no longer confidently identify objects on the road. The researchers call the phenomenon a digital epileptic seizure, epilepticar for short, where the systems trained by artificial intelligence to distinguish between images of different road objects fluctuate in effectiveness in time with the emergency lights flashes. The effect is essentially, I'm sorry, is especially apparent in darkness, the researchers say, and that kind of makes sense, you know, much greater contrast there. Emergency lights, in other words, could, writes Wired, could make automated driving systems less sure that the car-shaped thing in front of them is actually a car. The researchers write that the flaw, quote, poses a significant risk, unquote, because it could potentially cause vehicles with automated driving systems enabled to crash near emergency vehicles and be exploited by adversaries to cause such accidents. You know, it's interesting well, because a, a lot of Teslas have crashed into emergency vehicles. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe we now know why. Exactly. They said, while the, uh, while the findings are alarming, this new research comes with several caveats. For one thing, the researchers were unable to test their theories on any specific driving systems, such as Tesla's famous autopilot. Instead, they ran their tests using five off-the-shelf automated driving systems embedded in dash cams purchased off of Amazon. And Wired said, Prenz, these products are marketed as including some collision detection features, but for this research, they function as cameras. They then ran the images captured on those systems through four open source object detectors, which are trained using images to distinguish between different objects. The researchers are not sure whether any automakers use the object detectors tested in their paper. It could be that most systems are already hardened, 
against flashing light vulnerabilities. Okay, now, I, I, to, me, to me, while this might appear to render the value of this research more questionable, there was at least some good reason to wonder, and the researchers' findings bore this out. Wired says the research was inspired, uh, to your point, Leo, <laughs> right, yeah. by reports that Tesla's using the electric car maker's advanced driver assistant feature, Autopilot, collided with some 16 stationary emergency vehicles between 2018 and 2021. Says Ben Nassi, a cybersecurity and machine learning researcher at Ben Gurion University who worked on the paper, quote, it was pretty clear to us from the beginning that the crashes might be related to the lighting of the emergency flashers. Ambulances, police cars, and fire trucks are different shapes and sizes, so it's not the type of vehicle that causes this behavior. In other words, you know, these guys started by probably correctly inferring that, you know, okay, what is it that is unique about these emergency vehicles that Teslas keep crashing into? Well, it's they've got flashing lights. So a three-year investigation, writes Wired, by the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration into the Tesla emergency vehicle collisions eventually led to a sweeping recall of Tesla autopilot software, which is designed to perform some driving tasks like steering, accelerating, braking, and changing lanes on certain kinds of roads without a driver's help. The agency concluded that the system inadequately ensured drivers paid attention and were in control of their vehicles while the system was engaged. They said other automakers' advanced driving assistance packages, including General Motors, Super Cruise, and Ford's Blue Cruise, also perform some driving tasks but mandate that drivers pay attention behind the wheel. Unlike autopilot, these systems work only in areas that have been mapped. In a written statement since sent in response to Wired's questions, Lucia Sanchez, a spokesperson for the NHTSA, acknowledged that emergency flashing lights may play a role. She said, quote, we're aware of some advanced driving assistance systems that have not responded appropriately <laughs> when emergency flashing lights were present in the scene of the driving path under certain circumstances, unquote. Tesla, which disbanded its public relations team in 2021, did not respond to Wired's request for comment. The camera systems the researchers used in their tests were manufactured by HP, Pelsey, Asdome, ImageBond, and Rexing. None of those companies responded to Wired's request for comment. Although the NHTSA acknowledges issues in, quote, some advanced driver assistance systems, the researchers are clear they're not sure what this observed emergency light effect has to do with Tesla's autopilot troubles. Ben Nassi said, I do not claim that I know why Tesla's crash into emergency vehicles. I do not know even if this is still a vulnerability, unquote. The researchers' experiments were also concerned solely with image-based object detection. Many automakers use other sensors, including radar and LIDAR, to help detect obstacles in the road. Not a, smaller Elon. Crop, <laughs> uh, a smaller crop of tech developers, Tesla among them, argue that image-based systems augmented with sophisticated artificial intelligence training can enable not only driver assistance systems, but also, here we go, completely autonomous vehicles. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Last month, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the automaker's vision-based system would enable self-driving cars <laughs> next year. He's been saying that for 10 years. 2025, baby. <laughs> it's been yeah. next year for at That's least six right. years. That's right. Yeah. Indeed, they wrote... How a system might react to flashing lights depends on how individual automakers design their automated driving systems. Some may choose to tune their technology to react to things it's not entirely certain are actually obstacles. In the extreme, that choice could lead to false positives where a car might hard brake, for example, in response to a toddler-shaped cardboard box. 
Others may tune their tech to react only when it's very confident that what it's seeing is an obstacle. On the other side of the extreme, that choice could lead to a car failing to brake to avoid a collision with another vehicle because it misses that this is another vehicle entirely. The Ben-Gurion University and Fujitsu researchers did come up with a software fix to the emergency flasher issue. It's designed to avoid the seizure issue by being specifically trained to identify vehicles with emergency flashing lights. The researchers say it improves object detectors' accuracy. Erlens Fernandez, an assistant professor of computer science and engineering at University of California, San Diego, who was not involved in the research, said it appeared sound. He said, quote, just like a human can get temporarily blinded by emergency flashers, a camera operating inside an advanced driver assistance system can get blinded temporarily. For researcher Brian Reamer, who studies vehicle automation and safety at the MIT Age Lab, the paper points to larger questions about the limitations of AI-based driving systems. Automakers need repeatable, robust validation to uncover blind spots, so to speak, like susceptibility to emergency lights, he says. He worries some automakers are moving technology faster than they can test it. Okay, so my own take is that, you know, this sort of research conducted by independent researchers is vitally important. It, you know, it needs to be done. Uh, it's obvious that the various car manufacturers are holding their, you know, their cards and their cars very close to their vests. They understandably consider their future auto driving technology to be ultra proprietary and because they want the best and no one else's business. Yet flesh and blood human beings and pets are moving within the same space as these autonomous, high-speed rolling robots. It's a recipe for disaster, and this has the feeling of being driven by the same sort of gold rush mentality as the, as the push for general artificial intelligence. So the headlines that these researchers have generated will doubtless, if nothing else, induce all of the developers of similar self-driving technology that actually is you know, being fielded to consider and test the effects of bright flashing lights on their driving AI. You know, the lives of people and pets have probably been saved. So hats off to these guys. And they have a, I have links to their 21 page paper where they really dig into the technology that they show the operation of the, of the AI learning neural networks and just how, Badly, they are upset by flashing lights. So this is soup, you know, absolutely been useful for the long term safety of vehicles. And again, I, I just think that because the the proprietary interests of automakers is to keep their stuff, you know, proprietary, not open. This limits what researchers are able to test. But. But this kind of research is, I think, vitally important. And Leo, I, I know that you've had a Tesla for quite a while. and Well, it, we got rid of it. Yeah, right. Lisa used to call it Christine because it would drive her into things. <laughs> no and then kidding. do exactly what they were talking about, which was just stop randomly, you know, screech to a halt as if it had seen something, you know. And wow. I think that that's the same, you know, the flip side of that coin, right? Yeah, I, I have a. I finally replaced my 21 year old uh, BMW, uh, and I have a car that's got sensors too. And when I'm backing up, uh, oh, it beeps both, like crazy! I bet <laughs> I, I have garages uh, in both locations where there's not a lot of space, and it's going dinging and donging and buzzing, and 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 it it actually creates anxiety in me because yes. I'm thinking it's seeing something yes. I don't know about. Lisa says she literally. I have a BMW i5, which is a very highly technically advanced machine, uh, an EV. And she won't, uh, she says, back out of the garage before I get in, because it makes me crazy, all the beeps and the boops. And I have a 
a heads up display, f- you know, from 2001, a space odyssey showing me the, the d- different vectors and synthetic <laughs> uh, imaging ge- yeah. yes, generation and, and it overlays all sorts of stuff on top of it. But I've learned what to pay attention to and, and whatnot. And, y- you know, you can see why, you know, at least for now, uh, AI is not good enough to replace a human. It's a nice pal. Yes. It's useful. And the pro- And the problem is everybody, you know, there is clearly a rush to the promise of this. Your car can drive itself. Yeah. And, you know, it does. It feels like, you know, they're always going to be pushing ahead of the envelope that they should stay in. And it's, you know, research like this, that this, you know, is, is the only place we get an independent reality check. And so even though they weren't able to actually train on on in field self-driving technology you know they were able to look at similar systems and say uh guys there seems to be a problem with flashing lights over here well i hate to say it but uh, anytime i hear the words elon musk said i discount (laughs) most of what follows because he is he's a marketer he's a we too we too have been trained by elon musk to discount, to Mark discount Gavin. everything you know, he, says. he does at the same time. You know, he lands, he captures re- returning rocket boosters with chopsticks, and you know, and folding fold out legs, and you know, and he, you know, Starlink is providing <laughs> internet connectivity to people to me. who would otherwise never have it. Yeah, I mean, this is our backup when Comcast goes down, which they do sadly a little more often than a, a, a podcast network <laughs> would like. Uh, if it, it autom- ubiquity fails over to the satellite dish on the roof right up here. Yeah. And it's, it's, by the way, it's very reliable, even in rain. And it, it's, it's really pretty amazing how well that works. So I'm not saying that Elon's companies don't produce good products. I'm just saying he is like most marketers prone to yeah. overstating. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security Now.